But look at this. Now is cometh rim called harvest. Nú er komið rím kalt haust. In the last episode, we got to know Christian Fjallaskold, the smart and sensitive guy who became a hopeless drunk and died young. In this episode, we take a look at another short poem he wrote called Haust. His poems are more and less bleak and dark. This one is no exception. It is about the relentless passage of time and how quickly the short Icelandic summer has turned into freezing autumn. Here is our hobo. <laughs> Ár og dagar líða, nú er komið ringast haust. Horfin sumars blíða. Allt fram streymir endalaust. All forwards streams endlessly. Fram can be found in Old English, meaning movement away in time or space. It later became from. Both the English fram and the Icelandic fram come from Proto-German. Although the English language has transformed the word from fram to from, it has preserved the meaning, the movement away from things. While Icelandic has preserved the spelling and pronunciation, but now fra means a movement towards something in time or space. It has a similar meaning to forward in English. Streimir comes from the base verb streima, and stream is the exact English equivalent. Christian is talking about the stream of time in this context. See how endalös and endless are virtually identical. The word stems or roots are the same. End and lös, less. Next line. Ár og dagar líða. Years and days pass. Let's focus on Lida here. Of course, Old English has this one too. Lidan, meaning to travel or move or something like that. In Icelandic, we use this one mostly to describe the passage of time. But since the word has a certain gentleness to it, it can mean moving slowly and gently, just like a small stream or a river does on flat land. Nú er komið hrím kalt haust. Now has come frosty cold autumn. Notice that er in Icelandic means is, not has. We say is cometh instead of has come. Yes, that old Viking language gives this impression of being rather royal and holy when translated into English like that. Maybe the translation of the Bible into Icelandic in the 1500s has something to do with it, since the Bible was for centuries often the only literature to be found in many Icelandic homes, along with other religious texts of similar style. Hrim means frosty, or to be more precise, a frosty layer formed by freezing dew. Again, we can find this one in Old English, hrim. The modern version is rhyme. Hrim kalt then literally means rhyme cold. Höst is an interesting one. There is a close relation here to Old English. The Old English word being herfest, meaning both harvest and the time of harvest, autumn. 
The Icelandic summers are short and in Iceland the autumn is chilly, so the time of harvest is more late summer than autumn. The host period has started to be more like winter for the rest of the civilized world. But look at this. Now is cometh rim called harvest. Nú er komið rim kalt haust. You know, when an English speaking person sees Icelandic text, it probably strikes him or her as very foreign and incomprehensible. But as soon as we put Icelandic and this pseudo old English back to back like that, it becomes striking how similar these two languages are. Maybe that is the main lesson you take from this episode. Here is the last line. Horvin Sumars Blida. Disappeared summer warmth. We examined the word kverva in the last episode. Obviously Christian was fond of this word. Melancholic and sad poems need a word like that. Now let's look at blíða. It has a broader meaning than warmth. This word includes brightness, warmth and jolliness of a warm sunny day. Old Saxon has it, blíði, and it means bright or even happy. Blíða is not that common weather pattern in Iceland, and we therefore tend to relate this word to human kindness or tenderness as well. On a darker note, blíða is also what prostitutes have to offer. Love for sale. All right, folks. Now this poem has become fully understandable to you. And it's time to chant along with our hobo. Enjoy! Hartram streamir endalöst Hár og dagar líða Nú er komir innkalt haust Horfin sumars blíða